Hi, and welcome back to another uh, History Rewind vlog with Natalie. Um, last weekend, if you remember, we talked about pre-Spanish Civil War and the events that occurred. And we said that this week we we're going to be talking about the main events in the Spanish Civil War with um, specific dates. So let's hop right into that. So we start in 1936 where it all begins and so February 1936 the popular front um, win national elections and this is Manuel Azana is now appointed president and so in March the Falang party banned. March and May um, there are street riots, strikes and general anarchy throughout some areas of Spain and this was just the rejection of local government or who's in charge from the civilians and in 1936 there was a conflict, this is major conflict, and so in July, the military uprising in Spanish Morocco and some mainland areas. July 19th, Franco arrives in Morocco and takes command, and Hitler agrees to help the nationalists, and Sound agrees to help the republicans. So then, in August of 1936, the first international brigade volunteers arrive in Spain, and the groups that arrived in Spain to help the republicans overthrow the nationalists. Uh, Harry Pullet arranged for Tom Wittringham to go to Spain and represent the CPGB. Maurice Therese, who is the French, who was the French Communist Party leader, also had the idea of international volunteers helping fight for the Republic. And then you have the numerous groups of people from over 50 countries arrived to help Republicans overthrow the Nationalists. And the Common Term and Soviet Union tried to recruit Communists from other countries to help the Republicans in Spain. And the main recruiting center was Paris, France. And so between July 29th and October 11th, the Germans airlifted 13,000 Spanish Moroccan troops and 270,000 and 100 kilograms of war material from Morocco to Andalusia. And this was a decisive factor in winning the war. And so in 1936 to 1937, we have September, which was the military junta named Franco, head of state. And October, Russian aid arrived for the Republicans, and this meant many military supplies to Spain, and it was the main supplier. And Russia wanted to use this as a testing ground for later going to war, as well as wanted Spain to pay them back in gold. So then we have November, which Germany and Italy formally recognized Franco as head of government. And finally, in February of 1937, we have the Nationalists start the major offensive against Madrid. So then we go into 1937 more so. And March is the Battle of Guadalajara, and this is the Italians, which was Mussolini, offensive that enclosed Madrid, and the Italians did not win, but were told to stay unless they won, so one Italian brigade and three Spanish brigades. So in April, the Guernica was destroyed, and it was bombed on Sunday during the night. And then we have May, where Republicans in Barcelona fell out, and division among the ranks and weaknesses and division among the ranks and weakness Republicans and less of a viable force they're seen as. And then so we have June where Bill Bayo falls to the Nationalists and its rage is completely destroyed. And it's a good victory because it's close to France. Naval blockades are possible. They're able to use the port and other ports and able to they're able to use the Atlantic Ocean instead of going through the Mediterranean, which would make them go through the Brigal de Canal, which is controlled by the Nationalists. So August, the Vatican recognizes Francisco Franco's regime, and the Pope says Franco's in charge. And so then we go into 1938, where in April, the Republican Spain is now split in two by the Nationalists. Um, May, Franco demands unconditional surrender. And July is the Battle of Ebro, which is the collapse of the Republican army. And this is the last major offense of the Republicans. And the Nationalists break through splitting the Republican troops. And then we have October where the International Brigade leaves Spain. And finally we have 1939 where, Jan and where in January Barcelona falls into the hands of Franco. And in February UK um, and France recognize the legitimacy of Franco's government. And then in March we have Madrid who surrenders. And lastly we have April 1939. Franco gets his unconditional surrender and becomes uncontested leader of Spain. So a lot happened in this time, as you can see. So um, that is the major events with um, throughout the months and years from 1936 to 1939, which was the Spanish Civil War. So I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next week on another video with History Rewind with Natalie. Have a good day.